Okay, so a few more questions here. Here we're finding the distance between two points, the midpoint between two points, and the slope of a line that goes through um, a couple given points. So recall that the distance formula, the distance between the point, say, x1, comma, y1, and x2, comma, y2, the distance is simply the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And again, you could make a picture and label this stuff. All you're doing is just using the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance. So, um, you know, maybe I'll call the first point x1, y1 and the second point x2, y2. So for number 30, well, if we subtract the x-coordinates, we'll get 4 minus 1 squared, and then if we subtract the y-coordinates, I think I just said that right, if we subtract the x-coordinates, we'll get 4 minus 1, then if we subtract the, the y-coordinates, we'll get 5 minus 1 squared. Well, that's going to be 3 squared, which is going to be 9. Uh, we'll get 4 squared, which will be 16. That's going to give us 9 plus 16, which will be 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So those two points are just 5 units apart. Okay, so for 31, the only thing, right, that's a little worse is just fractions. Okay, so we've got negative 4 fifths minus 1 half quantity squared plus, let's see, now we've got 1 sixth minus 2 thirds quantity squared. All right, so we have to simplify first. So if we multiply top and bottom of the first one, that would be negative 8 over 10. We get common denominators. Top and bottom of the second fraction by 5, that'll be 5 over 10. Again, we're squaring that. We've got 1 6, we could multiply numerator and denominator by 2. That would give us 4 over 6 squared. Okay, so we're going to have negative 13 over um, 10 squared. Negative 13 squared is going to be positive 169 over 100, plus, um, let's see, if we do 1 sixth minus 4 sixths, that's 3 over 6, negative 3 over 6, or negative 1 half. Negative 1 half squared will be positive 1 fourth. So again, we can get common denominators. We can multiply numerator and denominator by 25. So let's see, 169 plus 25, that's going to be what? 194 over 100. And of course, you could simplify this. You could make it the square root of 194 over the square root of 100. So in the denominator, you just have 10. Um, geez, does that simplify? It probably does. I'm going to let you simplify the square root of 194. So maybe it simplifies a little bit more, but hey good enough to me. So, all right, so again, that's the distance formula. Just subtract the x-coordinate, square them, subtract the y-coordinate, square them, add them together, square root, all that stuff. So let's do uh, the rest of these real quick. They're not too terrible. So midpoint, recall the midpoint, you just are basically finding an average. So the midpoint, we add the x-coordinates, divide by 2. We add the y-coordinates, and divide by 2. So for number 32, well, we would have 1 plus 4 divided by 2, and then we would have 1 plus 5 divided by 2. Well, that's going to give you 5 halves. You'll have 6 over 2, which is just going to give you 3. Let's see, for number 33, again, we're just doing the same thing. We're adding the x-coordinates, so we have 1 half plus negative four-fifths all over two, and then we have two-thirds plus one-sixth all divided by two. So again, just a little bit of, of fraction stuff. So one-half plus negative four-fifths, well, what's that going to give us? We can multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by five, top and bottom of the second one by two. We almost just did this a second ago. Um, you could also get common, or uh, you could multiply by the least common multiple of the denominators, another way to do it, but whatever. So we've got 5 plus we would have negative 8, or 5 minus 8, that'll give us negative 3 over 10. That's all being divided by 2 over 1, which we can write as, we can flip and multiply and make it 1 half. 
So that's the first point. For the second one, we could multiply um, 2 thirds by 2 over 2. That'll give us 4 sixths plus 1 sixth. That'll be 5 over 6. Again, 2 over 1, since we're dividing by 2 over 1, we can flip and multiply by 1 half. So that's going to give us negative 3 over 20, comma, 5 over 12 as the midpoint. Okay, so just a little review with fractions there. Um, slope. Okay, so remember to find the slope between two points. You just do change in y over change in x. So that's all we're doing in this case. So for number 34 to find the slope, change in y would be 9 minus 5 over change in x, 4 minus 1. Well, that's going to give us a slope of 4 thirds for number 34. And for 35, okay, so change in y, we've got 4 fifths minus negative 1 over negative 1 third. I don't know why I put that in parentheses. It doesn't matter. Uh, negative 1 third minus 2. So that's 4 fifths plus 1. That's 4 fifths plus 5 over 5. That would be 9 over 5. And for the second, uh, or in the denominator, 1 third minus 2. Well, we could write 2 as 6 thirds. So 1 third minus 6 thirds, that's going to give us negative 7 over 3. And again, if we flip and multiply, that's going to give us negative 27 over 35 as the slope of that second line. So, all right, um, I hope all these examples ring a bell for you. Um, again, distance, you'll see a little bit. Midpoint, you'll see, obviously, you know, dealing with lines, you're going to deal with lines all the time. So all this stuff is certainly worth remembering. Definitely slope. And we'll do some more problems here working with lines in the future videos.